Hey guys, Dan Ward here at Ochako Bushcraft. Well, I'm out at high camp and I'm finally getting to test it out. As you can see by my dress, there's been uh, quite a change in the weather out here since last time I was out. It's been raining for several days straight. And in fact, it actually snowed one day. And uh, just this is the weather I've been waiting for. And I've got a nice warm fire out here in front of me. Um, just kind of kicking back, relaxing in my shelter. Got my bedroll laid out. It is that time of year, and I'm giving it a test run. So I will uh, show you guys how I've finished up the shelter. And there's still a few little holes in the back wall and stuff I'm going to plug. But I'm warm and I'm dry. And uh, before nighttime comes... I'm actually going to take my uh, reflective blanket, the the heavier duty kind. It's like orange or green on one side and reflective on the other, and I'll I'll hang it on this back wall right behind me. I did that last winter when it was around zero outside, and with a fire in front and the heat reflecting back off that uh, uh, space blanket, I had to sleep on top of a sleeping bag. I couldn't even get in it because I was so warm, and that was with it zero outside. So anyway, uh, show you guys just real quick. I got a nice fire going in front of me. Found some nice pitchy, pe uh, pitchy pieces of wood off an old stump. Threw them in there. And in a minute, I'll as when I get up here, I'll show you my bedroll. I've got my bedroll all uh, laid out. But before I get going, I thought I'd show you guys uh, what I carry with me in my fire kit just to uh, you know, make sure that I can always get nice fires going like that. Part of what I carry is for practicing traditional bushcraft skills. And part of what I carry is uh, just you know, when I really need to get a fire going. So I have this little pouch from Hidden Woodsman. And this is my fire kit. <clears throat> I have a second little pouch from Hidden Woodsman that is my tinder pouch. And as I'm walking around and stuff, if I would happen to find dry grasses, uh, dry moss, like you guys saw me using the other day, I just uh, shove it all in here. I got some uh, dryer lint and some oakum and stuff mixed in here right now. And I, there are still a few places under the trees out here where there's some dry pine needles and things that I can use to uh, fill this bag up more. But in the little fire kit, just to give you guys a quick rundown of what I carry out here with me at all times. Um, just to mention, first, my ferro rod is always on my belt in a little leather pouch. Ferro rod and striker. So it's not in the fire kit. It's right out here uh, where I need it. And this is what I use to start most of my fires with. That's the Uberleben that I showed you guys on my ferro rod video. So, in my fire kit, I have a small pouch filled with pieces of fat wood. So I've always got nice, pitchy fat wood with me, uh, ready to get a fire going in any conditions. Okay, <clears throat> two lighters. That's what I happened to use today. I took a piece of fat wood and just put the lighter to it. I you know, usually I use my ferro rod and gather up materials and stuff, but I was just kind of anxious to get in the shelter and try it out. I already cooked lunch, so I went ahead and uh, just used a lighter, so two, two lighters. Um, Ziploc baggie full of cotton balls saturated in Vaseline. You've seen me use these. Windproof, waterproof matches. I use these whenever I'm cooking on my Esbit stove. They light that little stove real easy. A small container of char cloth. You saw me do a flint and steel fire last time I was out here. And then of course, my steel. And I have another empty Altoids can, which uh, I fill up with those cotton pads that I told you guys about. And I'll throw that in the fire for uh, 10 minutes. In fact, I'm going to leave this out because I'll do that later and get me a fresh batch of char cloth made up. 
Oh, and by the way, when you're making char cloth, I know a lot of guys say you, you need to punch a hole in the can. I've never punched a hole in the can. I just put these pads in here, close it up, put it in the coals, cover it, and I wait 10 minutes. Um, when you're first starting out and you're learning this new skill, it's good to watch the can smoke, and then when the smoke stops, you'll know that it's, know that it's done. But I've done it enough times that I just look at my watch, and when 10 minutes has passed, I pull it out, and it's perfect every time. As I said, my ferro rat is on my belt. I have an emergency candle. Um, I showed you guys I've got a uh, pop can out here. So if I want to use that for a candle, candle lantern and the one in it burns up, I'll use this. This is also great for starting fires too. You can light your candle and then use your candle to start fires. I've got a couple pieces of flint. The one piece that I found out up, actually out here, the Jasper Quartz and a uh, piece of English flint that came with one of, the, one of those fire kits that I told you guys about. And then for summertime, uh, when I get some really, really good dry tinder, I have a Fresnel lens. So that's pretty much everything that I carry with me in my pack. Uh, I'm out here in snowstorms. Like I said, it's been raining for several days straight. It's raining right now. Um, all year round carrying these items, I have never had a problem getting a fire. As long as you know uh, where to get your dry wood and whatnot, <clears throat> you uh, won't have a problem. So let me give you guys a little tour of the area, show you what I got going on. As I said, I got a nice fire going. And uh, I'll show you in a minute. There's a big stump over here, and I'll show you, you guys when you're out. A real good place to find wood <clears throat> so on amazon.com uh, there's a brand of canvas tarp called Cartman and um, it's 10 ounce canvas so it's a lot lighter and I have a wool blanket rolled up inside that I got my wool boreal shirt laying up behind me and another wool blanket a queen-size wool blanket uh, folded over the top of my pack and that laying in front of this fire with my blanket it can be zero out here and I'm gonna be toasty warm um, I like I said I've used this all last winter so I know from experience and this shelter is already working great because I am as warm as can be and I'm staying dry I really got the uh, boughs piled up on here and I'm managing to stay nice and dry inside. Down on the bottom, I used a lot of dead pine needles for insulation to keep any kind of a draft from coming in the bottom. I'm going to walk you guys over here and uh, show you. Over here by my shelter is a big fallen log. I call it a the, the butt end of stump, but it's actually the roots. So I sawed off some of this right here and right here, and the stuff is just filled with pitch. I mean, everywhere that I've cut off a piece, I cut off a piece down here too, and I've broke off a few pieces. This old, this old uh, butt end of a fallen tree with all these root wads is just filled with pitch. I just cut off a couple chunks, throw them on the fire, and it's been burning for hours. I'm just uh, laying in there enjoying the heat from it. So, take you guys for a little walk. Uh, take you back through camp here. I'll turn you around so you can see. This is nothing has pretty much changed other than, you know, I got, like I said, I got my bed laid out. I got my fire going. I went ahead and put my table out. I'm gonna cook myself a pot of chili um, hanging over the fire later. But I uh, also wanted to show you that uh, I am not the only one out here. As I walk over here through the area. Okay, down from my camp a little ways, we got another camp. 
This happens to be Nate from Preparation 101's camp. And uh, he's actually inside his shelter right now with his, jaw, with his dog, enjoying the heat of his fire. He's been out here doing a lot of construction with me and building himself a nice shelter. If you check out his uh, YouTube channel, Preparation 101, he has actually documented um, the building of his shelter every step of the way. And uh, you guys can follow him and see how he has constructed his. So anyway, guys, as I said, it's uh, the weather's changed. It's been raining for several days. We actually had snow coming down a couple days ago. And uh, shelter set up. Bed roll is sitting in there. Everything's ready to go. It's... Uh, ready for a nice comfortable sleep so that's about it i'm actually gonna get back into that uh, comfortable bed in front of the fire and lay back down relax read a book and uh just enjoy it relax like i said i got a, a bushcraft pot out here with me i'm gonna hang it um across the flames this evening and have a big pot of chili and just enjoy it. You guys take care out there and thanks for tuning in.